Hello, it's Steve Mills here and welcome to the Results Podcast. Firstly, a big apology. It's been quite some time since my last uh, show and uh, reason being is uh, I've actually had COVID uh, like a lot of people and uh, whilst I wasn't, you know, really ill, um, I certainly didn't feel very well and my voice was very croaky and I I sounded like a a sort of Charles Bronson for those of you who are old enough to remember Charles Bronson. Uh, I was very croaky. I had a sore throat and felt quite fluey and stuff. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, Today, um, I'm, again, still not quite 100%, but I'm, you know, I'm going to get going, I'm going to do this podcast, and and this, I believe, is one of my, I'm going to tell you, it's one of my better podcasts, and I really hope that is the case, Uh, and when I say that, what I mean is not not that I'm so great, what I mean is that there's a real value in this stuff here, it's, you know, I try to always make sure that my podcasts are valuable, but this one is is as simple as this. I'm going to say this. If you do it, if you take action based on four things that I'm going to teach you, you're going to make more money. It's as simple as that, right? So that's what it's called. Do this and you'll make more money, which is a really good lesson in itself in terms of you know, does your headline of your podcast, of your email, of your web page, of your blog, of your video, does it does it make people sit up and look? Does it make people, you know, when you listen to me saying, if you do this, then you'll make more money. Does that make you think, oh, well, well I better have a, li- uh, better have a listen to this then. I better find out more. Because that's really the job of that headline. It's to... Uh, almost create curiosity based on the result that I'm promising. I'm saying, if you do what I'm going to tell you to do, then you'll make more money. And the reason I'm telling you this is is for you to think about that from your point of view. You know, what is there? If you've got a, a page on your website called About Us or Our Service, you know, can't you think of anything better, more interesting, more powerful than that? Because that's about as bad as it gets, I think. Um, but anyway, on with what I'm talking about. And and that bit, by the way, wasn't p- part of it. That, in a way, was like a, 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 a an added throw-in, if you will. So, um, you know, uh, whilst do this and, and you'll win more money is a strong statement to make, uh, but I really do believe it's true. And uh, I'm going to talk to you uh, today about what I call the, the four things that you have to do every day to make, basically to make as much money as you want. And, and here they are. So number one, the first thing you need to do, and this is something that, you know, you'll think, well, I know that, Steve, and I know you know it, but, it, you know, it's, it's common sense, but it's not common practice. And that is to build your audience. Build the number of people that you're connected to. Um, you know, I hear so often people say say to me, you know, when they meet me, they say, well, you know, we're really good at what we do, Steve. We've been doing it for now 20 years and we're really good at it, but we're not really very well known. Uh, and that, that that's a recipe for disaster, really, or at least mediocrity. You know, if you're good at what you do, but you're not really, uh, you know, getting anywhere with it, then, you know, that's not great. So, um, you know, I've heard that many, many times. So step one is that you've got to always be building your audience. Otherwise, nobody's going to see your stuff. Uh, now, let me be clear here. An audience is different than people who've liked you or, or you know, you're a fan or you're a LinkedIn follower and any of that, of uh, really any of that stuff. Your audience are the people who pay attention, the people who interact, the people who uh, respond, the people who click through on your emails and attend your webinars and watch your videos and so on. So they're actually doing something. Something. They're not just people who've clicked a button saying, I like that. So the only way to do this, to build that database, is to create a list. Back years ago, when I started off 20, nearly 27 years ago now, 
um, that was all about, you know, direct mail. I used to send out a thousand letters through the post and that would get me uh, around about 20 people onto a seminar. I'd charge them £150 and that was quite profitable and I used to do that again and again and again. But I was trying at the time to build my list to increase that. You know, potentially if I could have got that list up to 2,000 names, then instead of getting 20 people on my seminar, I'd have got 40, doubled the amount of income. So, you know, that's an important thing. Uh, And then, of course, came email. You know, we started doing email and email uh, building is still a good idea. You know, I I send out emails every day and, uh, well, not quite every day, but probably three or four a week. And, uh, you know, that wins me business. Absolutely, it does time and time and time again. And yet I hear so many people tell me, well, I've not really got a list. And no, no, I don't do any emailing. Um, they're, they're really just throwing a load of cash away if you're not doing that. However, there's other stuff as well, isn't there? You know, in this modern digital world that we all live in, uh, if anyone engages with your social media posts, for example, they automatically get added to your audience. You know, if you see my stuff everywhere, for example, it's because you engage with me. Uh, And so your social media platforms start showing uh, you more of my stuff. If you've engaged, if you've clicked on a link, even if you've just done things like liked and shared and commented and stuff like that, then the social media platforms, not just one of them, but many of them, will start showing you more of my stuff. Uh, plus some of the um, social media platforms will start showing my stuff to similar people to you because it knows who you are and it knows the type of person you are and it starts showing it to more of those people. So let, let me be clear, if someone clicks on one of your posts, even if it's just them clicking read more, Uh, or they watch one of your videos, or they leave a comment, or they hit the like button, or do anything like that, they take action, then they're added to your audience. So, you know, my advice is stop farting around, quite frankly, saying, I don't want to bombard people, so I'll just post once a week and do something every day. This is what this is about. It's about doing something every day. Now, Important point here. I run lots of ads on Google, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, and so on and so forth. And when I do, my audience uh, does one of three things. Some of them will click on the link and buy. They'll actually buy something. They'll, they'll see my advert on Facebook, for example, and they'll go to my website and buy something. Once they've done that, I can email them, uh, I can add them to my uh, list and so on, so I can grow my audience that way. Some of them may opt into something. They may opt into a, a free report, a free training program, attending a webinar, uh, downloading a document and so on and so forth. So again, I can add them to that email list and I can email them. Uh, The third group of people are people who visit my website but don't do anything. You know, they go there and they think, do you know what, that's not quite for me or whatever. But the point being, they've been to my website. So what happens to them then is they're added to my retargeting audience through Google. Uh, If you don't know what retargeting is, it's the process of advertising to people who've been to your website. People often tell me that, oh, you must be really successful, Steve. You're advertising everywhere. I went to the Times newspaper the other day and you were advertising on there. And then guess what? I went to my uh, local golf club and you were even advertising on there. Uh, How come you're everywhere like that, Steve? And my answer is I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm advertising to people who've been to my website using the Google partner website and uh, websites of which there are 2.5 million of them, by the way. And I'm advertising through that. So, you know, so many people don't even know that exists. Uh, It's quite scary. Uh, But I also do uh, and make organic posts, you know, just posting on LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and so on. Um, I do this so my audience grows. This has worked so well 
uh, over the years that, you know, I mean, give you an example. The other day, I got 14,000 people, yeah, 14,000 people to read one of my LinkedIn posts. You know, and uh, and 7,000 people listen to my podcast. This podcast that I'm doing right now, I've built up from virtually nothing inside, what, about two years? And I'm currently getting, on average, 7,000 people listening to that. Can you believe that? Now, you know, uh, I'm sure there are many people around, you know, the, 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 the real leading expert, someone like, I don't know, Tony Robbins probably gets 2 million views I don't know, or listens, um, and, uh, you, know, uh, 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 you know, I'm sure mine's not as good as it could be, or will be, by the way, because it will definitely be, uh, be moving forward. So that's step one. Step two, and this again is so important, make an offer. Yeah, how is anybody going to buy your stuff if you don't make them offers? The answer is they're not. I know, you know, we're making, uh, you know, making offers is common sense, but it's not common practice. People don't do it. Question for you. Did you make an offer today? Have you made an offer today? If you haven't, why not? You know, and, and people say to me, oh, you mustn't sell on social media. Bullshit. Of course you must. Now, not necessarily all the time. In fact, definitely not all the time. Uh, but you could sell a free webinar. You could sell a free download. You could sell a, a free meeting with somebody and so on. So what? You, what when we say sell, we don't necessarily mean that you're going to you know, stick a, 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 a post up on LinkedIn and get somebody to buy your £20,000 program. You know, that's never happened to me. And it probably won't happen to you, even though I do win over a hundred thousand pounds per year on LinkedIn alone. So, you know, this stuff works if you do it. So you need to, um, you need to, what I call, wrap a sale in content. And uh, I'm not going to talk about that now. You'll have to listen to one of my other uh, podcast to learn what that means. Uh, there you go. I've hooked you in, haven't I? Uh, so go and have a look at that. Or go to YouTube and have a look at, uh, type in Steve Mills Marketing, wrapping uh, content, r- sorry, wrapping uh, uh, a sales pitch in content. If you look for that, I think you'll find it. Um, so the more offers you make, the more money you'll make. That's really simple, isn't it? You know, the more offers you make, the more money you'll make. So what do you got to do? You got to make more offers. You know, you're on my list. You know I make offers. I make them all the time on, on email and on my social media. I'm constantly trying to drive traffic to my website so people can go and have a look. And some of them buy. You know, not all of them, obviously, but some of them do. But most people don't do that. So you need to make offers through your social media posts, your YouTube videos, your podcast episodes. You know, here's an offer. You know, by the way, if you if you want to know more from me, book a meeting. Go to my website, steve-mills.com, and book a free, no obligation, what I call a results awareness meeting with me, one-to-one, online, and we can talk about you and your marketing and how I might be able to help you. And do you know what? I'm going to try and help you on that meeting. I'm going to give away some really good advice on that meeting. So what have I just done? I've just pitched for you. I've just done exactly what I've said. I've said, you know, you're going to make offers through social media posts, YouTube videos. I've just done one on my podcast, on your website, on your landing page, on your and uh, advertisements. Just make an offer at least once every day. Okay. Now, step three, uh, this one is what a lot of people don't think about, and that is building an asset. Uh, excuse me, I need to cough. <coughs> I told you I'd had COVID, and it's not quite gone, I don't think, but uh, uh, obviously feeling much better now. Okay, so build an asset. Here's what I mean. What is an asset? An asset is a thing that can t- c- I can't say it, sorry, is a thing that can continue to make you money long after you've created it. So, for example, a course is an asset. A product is an asset. Um, A sales letter or a sales email or a sales script is an asset. 
Uh, you know, r- write it one at a time, use it over and over again, sometimes for years. You know, you can produce an email that goes out every month selling a particular product or service. It's not that it needs to be just done once. Why would you do it once if it works? You need to do it again and again. I run, give you a perfect example with me. I run webinars and I do them every month and it's the same one every month. It's no different. It's an asset. It's something I've got. I've got a system. I've got emails that go out. I've got social media posts that go out. I've got a script that I use in the um, webinar that goes out. I've got follow-up emails that go out and so on and so forth. So my webinar system is an asset and that's what you need to create. A video is an asset. Um, you know, it's a way of getting people into your world, getting them watching videos. And I've got people watching videos. I looked the other day, um, uh, many years ago, I was on a, web, um, a, a BBC, not a BBC, a business channel, a business channel TV called Business Connections Live. And the first time I was on there, I think it was it's probably the best part of 10 years ago. I looked at the video that was recorded in that interview when I, when I was on that TV channel, and uh, it's now got 14,500 views. They've built up over the years, and pe- I'm sure when I go back to it, it's going to have, I don't know, 18,000 views. I've not looked at it for a while, and so I'm sure that's going to increase. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to get a, a quick drink. Just bear with me. Okay, I'm fine. Just getting a little bit dry in the throat now. Uh, So video is definitely an asset. The same thing with social media posts. People say... You know, uh, I need to need to go and write a load of social media posts. Yeah, you do. You need to have some collateral there. You need to have built up some assets. Uh, but there's no reason why you can't post things um, on a consistent basis. Now, I'm not saying post the same thing out every day. Obviously not. But if you built together 30 social media assets, in other words, posts, and you rotated them round, sending them out every day and then you just I don't know interjected those with ones that were you know new and appropriate for the day like you know um you know I've I've just done this today or did you see that on the news today or this has just happened in our industry and so on and so forth uh so you know build build assets and use those assets in your business now Step four, finally, the what I call the secret step that few people ever really think about, and that is this. Create goodwill. Goodwill is simply a way of saying people buy from people and businesses that they know, like, and trust. I'll say that again. People buy from people and businesses that they know, like, and trust. Now... If I said to you, you know, on a scale of one to ten, with one being, I don't know Steve at all, I've never heard of him, uh, certainly don't, well, hopefully you do like me by now, but, you know, let's just say the, the level's low. If you didn't, if you didn't, you didn't know me, you didn't like me, you didn't trust me, okay? Let's just assume that a level one is somebody like that. A level five is, yeah, yeah, he seems a decent guy, you know, he seems to know I like him, you know, he, I, I, I sort of listen to him now for whatever it is, 20 minutes, or 12 minutes, sorry, uh, you listen to me for 12 minutes, so you might think, you know, he seems okay, he seems quite a likeable character, and he seems to know what he's talking about, so I trust him, so that's a five, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, it's okay, and a 10 is, you know, absolutely, you're totally, totally hooked in, you think Steve's great, you're going to give him some money soon because you need to, because you know he's going to help you grow your business and you 100% trust him as a result of that. And that's what you want to be trying to create. So, you know, if you think about that, how are you going to do that? Uh, This is so incredibly important, guys. You can't just hope. You can't just hope Put simply, if your market likes you, they are way more likely to buy your stuff, 
That That's the bottom line. Do you want to know the best way to create goodwill? To create goodwill, sorry, not create it, create it. Let's get this right, Steve. I think I'm still suffering from a bit of COVID. I've got COVID of the brain. Does it affect your brain? I don't know, but it's certainly affecting my ability to speak somehow. But anyway, okay, here we go. This is it. Do you want to know the best way to create goodwill? The answer is just help people. Just help people. The best way you can do that is so simple, is to show them what they want. Give them help. Give them advice. You take this uh, uh, email or or, or, or this podcast as an example. Um, this, This is an example. What's it doing? It's showing you four simple things that you can do every day that will help you to make more money. You know, that I'm demonstrating what I'm telling you as I talk. And if you think that doing all four of these every day is hard, you know, think again. Take, the, take it, this, for example, you know, is it difficult to do? Would it be difficult to turn this into an email? To be honest, I, I'm, I'm actually reading off an email that I produced uh, a little while ago. So I'm taking an email and I'm turning it into a podcast. Would it be very, very easy for me to take this email, same email as I, I've got right now, and turn it into a video? Or what about a blog post? Uh, or what about a social media post? Perhaps I could break the four steps up into four individual posts and then post them out four days on the trot. I'm going to need another uh, drink, I'm afraid, guys. Sorry. <coughs> Do you know what? This is the first time I've spoken for so long, I think, um, since COVID. And it, it's definitely affecting my throat. So I apologise, but I hope it's not spoiling things too much. So I, I call this process that we're talking about here, maximising it. You know, I've got a podcast. I've got an email so far. Uh, I need to do a video. I need to do a, a webinar. And uh, I need to do a... I could actually turn this in even into a programme, couldn't I? I could do a program. I could, could you know, uh, do a do a weekend or a, a long weekend, a four day marketing program called the Four Steps to Creating More Sales, and I could cover each one of these over a period of a day. You know, th- this is n- this is so simple, guys, and and yet it, it, it's it's common sense, but it's not common practice. And uh, my my perception is that you're probably doing some of this, if not all of it, but my perception is also that you are not doing it as well as you could. You're not taking it to the level that you could. And if you need any help from me to do so, then, you know, that's what I've spent 20, nearly 27 years doing, helping businesses to make more money. Not just about improving the looks of your marketing. How do you get more cash? How do you create more leads? How do you turn more of those leads into sales? I'm an expert of that. I've been working with thousands of businesses in hundreds of industries. And I've helped people to make literally millions and millions of pounds of additional unforeseen income. One guy came on my LinkedIn workshop and made £42 million. Uh, Another company... I spent literally 10 minutes working with them. I came up with a better headline for their their, uh, product and made 5 million quid off an advert within two months. Now, they were selling a product that cost 2.5 million, so it was only two sales, but that didn't matter, did it? That was a fantastic opportunity. So, as I said to you uh, before, if you want to... Book a meeting with me. That's the per, you know, I hope and believe that I've demonstrated my expertise here. I've told you, uh, some great advice, simple advice that you can use every day in your business to make a massive improvement. Uh, and that, believe it or not, is just a small fraction of how I can help you. Uh, if you want help, 
book a meeting. Go and, go and do it now. Go to my website, steve-mills.com and get yourself booked in. You know, I will not hard sell you. Uh, you know, I'll again talk to you and about your business, your marketing. What are you doing? What are you trying to do? I'll give you some tips and advice to help you to do that. So even if you come to the end of the meeting, you'll at least have got a load of value out of it. And then you can make your mind up. If you want to work with me, great. Um, and if you don't, that's also really, really cool. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. So don't forget steve-mills.com. Get yourself uh, a meeting. There's a big gold button in the in the middle of it, by the way. Just click that. That opens up my online diary. And you can see exactly when I'm free. And you can book your meeting then and there. So uh, look forward to meeting you and speaking to you very, very soon. Thanks for listening.